I'm sick. I've got the dengue or the malaria or something, so Dr. Feelgood's just taking some blood work. Dr. Feelgood's back. I actually made a miraculous recovery today, but then he's really concerned because of my um, red blood cell count is really low. It was supposed to be 115, it was 130 yesterday, and today it's 115. So he's crapping his dax. He doesn't quite know what I've got. I don't have a rash. I don't have the other symptoms of dengue fever. I don't have malaria, which is great. That's bloody good news. But um, it's kind of weird that I've come right so quickly. So, yeah, he reckons I'm going to crash again tomorrow or the next day. So just in case, he's put me on the IV again. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. But I feel like I'm over it. I feel I'm back to normal and happy days. But, uh, he doesn't agree, but I, I'm not going to listen to him. <laughs> A couple of my mates are going to visit me um, to see if I'm dead yet. Hi. No, anyway, so I, um, I'm i not dead yet, obviously, but my red blood cell count is dangerously low. It's go, gone below 100. And I don't have any of the symptoms of dengue fever, so I don't have a rash. I'm actually fine. My temperature's fine. My blood pressure's okay. So they're all scratching their head going, what the hell's going on? Um, why is my red blood cell count dropping so fast? So either something else is going on or I'm bleeding internally. But they reckon I could have organ failure tonight. So they said, go to hospital. And I said, I can't, I'm on island. Saw your hand. Saw your hand. Oh, my hand? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm still plugged in to them, which is run out, and the doctor's at the pub. Good holiday, nice, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Good holiday, yeah. <laughs> Where's, uh... Mama! <laughs> <laughs> this is Spice Bro. Where's Mama? Funny. Um, man, that was a rough sailing. I had to go and Shanghai this lady's seat because I was almost about to pass out halfway across. <sighs> Not feeling so flash at the moment. I've got about a one hour drive, maybe more, to get to the hotel. And then. Uh, yeah, luckily, Pice come and pick me up. I'm feeling rough. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so just overnight at the hotel, then jump on the plane tomorrow, midday, fly home. Bye, bye. See ya. See ya. See you flight tomorrow. See ya, brother. See ya. See you later. Back in New Zealand, holy shit, what a long journey that was. <laughs> you remember me? Stay down, stay down. Stay down, 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 <laughs> stay down you mongrel, stay down, stay down, 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 yes, down. Just pulled up at the gas station to get some gas and some ice and stuff when I noticed this, this fishy stink coming from my truck and like, what the hell's going on there and I look across and see these fellas. Fucking smelly bastards, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where we go, my man, we're off on a journey? Yeah, it's definitely rung me up yesterday and said, oh, where you at? You're still in Bali. I said, no, I'm home. He was up Puna Kaiki. So I said, come on down. We'll go for a mission. And uh, him and the bro come down and we're going down to Ocarita to get some pippies and cockles and maybe salmon and flounder as well. But what's going on with the smell, mate? Oh, bro. Got some uh, decaying juices on the bottom. This is clean. Do you know what it's like? She hangs around. She hangs around. Now, for those of you fellas who are not familiar with this guy, this is Steph the Maori. I say that Mary because you're cappuccino Mary, eh? or do I say stiff the mouldy? Stiff the mouldy, bro. Oh, flat, stiff the mouldy. Flat white mouldy. I'm a cappuccino Mary, he's a white mouldy. There's a bit of a difference there, you can tell by the way that we talk. I don't talk like this, Al, and he does. <laughs> <laughs> and he's probably got a different laugh too. What's your laugh like? <laughs> yeah. oh, you'll find out, you'll find out. Like, I thought he's going to go, <laughs> Anyway, a couple of cappuccino Marys on the mission. Better go pick up Charlie and then we're into it. Oh, so good to be back in New Zealand. It really is. What a great country. I pulled over to get some watercress and Steph pulled up on this side. It looks like grass, but it's actually about two meters deep. 
Fuck, he's so lucky. He's so lucky he didn't roll it then. Now that, that's deep in there. Holy shit, bro. You're lucky you didn't go over. It's a highlight supposed to be made for. We're going to have to snatch him out of there. Flowery, eh, brother? Yeah. <laughs> No, uh, we better get the rope on it, snatch him out. <laughs> there we go. You see these fellas driving around, just be careful. Ocarito, here we are. What a spot. Oh, I forgot the life jackets, but we'll be alright. <laughs> At least one of us won't die if we crash and can rescue the other followers, so the risk is managed. You know where I'm going because I've never been up here before. We're looking for a creek that comes out into the lagoon, and apparently that's where the salmon gather at the mouth of the creek. Oi, sit up, sit up. That's why he doesn't have any kids because he kids get in the wrong hole. He's got two kids. Down the right hole a couple of times. So he has got two kids. Yeah. He doesn't fuck it up all the time, but when he does. <laughs> Preferred to go a bit further up, but this, this is as far as we're going to get because of all the sticks and it's a bit shallow in here. We're kind of looking for a pool just before it steepens up into rapids, which is just there, but it's not deep enough, so hopefully there'll be another one just up here. Let's jump up on this log jam, see if I could see any salmon in this pool here, but I can't see any. Always pregnant, she's carrying a bit more weight than she usually does. She almost sunk then. I had visioned a big deep pool before some rapids, but this isn't quite what I was imagining. We might just blast downstream and go get some pippies and cockles and cook a feed, I think. What do you reckon we do, bros? I reckon Hohu Ahumi, the Kiwi bush native, should know his way around here to find us a salmon. We'll try out that river mouth with some bigger sticks, shall we? Truth be told, I've actually never caught a salmon before, so I wouldn't even know what to look for. <laughs> <laughs> I've been salmon fishing heaps of times. Remember that time we went salmon fishing, Charlie, and I hooked one and then you grabbed the rod off me and it snapped? Remember that? What, three years ago? Yeah, I've been salmon fishing for, I don't know, 30 years or something, and I finally hook one, and Charlie grabs the rod off me. Give me that rod, Dad, and just snatches it off me, and the bloody line snaps. <laughs> God, forgotten about that. Maybe Charlie will hook one today, and I can bloody grab the line off him. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be their big break. <laughs> Get up, boy. Get up. Bloody mongrel, you <laughs> can get all that shit wet. Oh, we're gonna try to get out of here without getting flax wrapped around the impala. There might actually already be flax wrapped around the impala. I didn't bring the toolbox either. This is the 
secret spot X. Down after the storm? Nah. Big, Got us uh, a quarter of a bucket. We're just going to dump them out and get all the small ones out. Oh, uh, a cappuccino, cappuccino, the white mouldy. I'm the cappuccino Mary. He's the white mouldy. It's got a uh, my new. <laughs> I was not. I was going to say Indian name, but it's a Maori name. My Indian name would be Bigfoot or something like that. White feet. <laughs> it was my Maori name. Hohua hear me. Hohua hear me. Hohua hear me. That apparently means Josh James. I know hear me means James, but I didn't realise that Hohua meant Joshua. But there you go. That's way cooler than white feet. That's what they call me. <laughs> <laughs> in Canada. There's the Māori laugh you were asking for earlier, eh? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to end with some cockles here, it's out the gate. Look at this. What's our cut-off size, bro? Where's the cut-off size? Turns out they were all big anyway, so we just <laughs> we took them all out for no reason at all. Just give ourselves a heap more work. I was quite sweating when I picked them up. Not a real mission unless you double handle everything, eh? <laughs> Work harder, not smarter. <laughs> <laughs> That's our motto. Gotta wash the bottom of our bucket, brother. Oh, that's good work for the week. Get up! Get up! Get up! put on the trailer I reckon drive down to the beach and cook these cockles up and then <coughs> might shoot a deal on the way home we'll see how we go just gonna give these things a good old shake in the bucket to give them a bit of a clean and then we'll cook them up butter Holy shit, those things are good. It's got to be one of my favourite things to eat, I think, the old cockles and white bread and butter. Classic. What was your favourite part of the nature walk? Uh, the Stony Creek channels and the Stony Creek. Oh, <laughs> you got some beautiful clearings through the snow here, bro. It's good, eh? Nice little peep spots to poke, poke the gun around, you know. It's pretty hard to hunt in here with more than one person because it's really tight and it's real hard to be quiet, and the deer are usually rarely onto it. But yeah, nothing here. Also, heaps of people come here, so it can be quite good because heaps of times people go, oh, heaps of people go there, it gets thrashed, and then no one comes there. But uh, I think that wasn't the case today. I did see some footprints on the way in, so plenty of animal sign here. Not a lot of shit on the clearings, but lots of animals moving through. There's deer here, but just nothing here tonight. Anyway, enough while we get back. We're out of here. Morning. A bit of a late one with the lads last night. <coughs> I cooked them breakfast this morning, but I fucked it up. <laughs> it's good to me, brother. It actually does look pretty good. Yeah, fucking hell, look at that. 
professional boy. This is a professional meal in one. I didn't have any bacon left, I only had that shit bargain bacon. You know the stuff you buy and it comes in big fatty yuck chunks? So I cooked it and then I burnt the bacon. <laughs> and then, so I had to put boiling water and I boiled the bacon to get all the burnt shit off and then drained it out. And then I poached the eggs and I fucked those up. I don't know, the eggs must have been real old or something because I put vinegar in there and they still just spread everywhere. And then uh, I chucked the bacon back and then I burnt the toast. Fuck it, Lil. Uh, easy breakfast, lads. Yeah. <laughs> That's allowed, bro. We yeah. appreciate it nonetheless. But I had more toast, and I managed to scrape all the burnt shit off the bacon. It actually looks all right now, eh? The boys have got to catch the ferry today. Tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. So they've got to drive up to Picton. It's quite a haul from here to Picton. It's, I don't know how far it is, 10 or 12 hours or something ridiculous like that. It's a long way. Until next time, eh? Uh, it. Boys are off, they gotta go back up to the North Island to catch some fish, catch some snapper. Oh. <laughs> ah, good bird in that one. It's a bloody motorbike, this um this motorbike's not working. I was working fine when I went to Bali and I came back and it wouldn't start. I wonder how isn't it starting? and I could hear the starter relay clicking and I actually was going through, I could hear something else clicking too and it was the auxiliary relay so I took unplugged the auxiliary relay and it wound over but then it must have dropped the circuit and it wouldn't fire so and the indicators aren't working Yeah, I really wanted to jump on the bike and go for a ride because I'd been in Bali and missed, I was riding scooters over here but it's not the same as riding a, an absolute weapon like this thing. This thing's so grunty. 950 Super Motard. And it's had a bunch of after work done on it. It's had the bigger jets put in the carbs and the twin pipe down to a single pipe, a Rottweiler intake system. And uh, holy shit, it's got some balls. But it's not going. I'm going to take it into Carl from Can Am West Coast today and he's going to. Uh, put the multimeter on my multimeter shut to bed so I can't fault find and trace back I think it's the earth from one of the relays or one of the relays is crapped out so hopefully he's got another auxiliary relay we can plug it in and see if it's going to fire up